Welcome, welcome to the Food Adventures channel. Today we have another food battle for you. It's one that I've been wanting to do for a while, and it involves meat and not quite meat. We have, we're going to have Beyond Meat or Beyond Sausage. I think this is supposed to take like taste like pork. It's plant-based sausage, but this is the Beyond Sausage. $9.99 for four links. So each of these sausages costs $2.50. And we're going to pit it against spicy Italian sausage, also pork. So Beyond Meat versus Real Meat. Now I actually have to go and cook and make these sausages, so I'll be back in a while. And we're going to see if Beyond Meat is really Beyond or is it just inferior meat. So Beyond Meat versus Real Meat. Alright, this is going to be exciting. We'll be back in a while when I actually finish cooking these things. So now we have the two brats. <clears throat> I have cooked the Beyond Meat brat on the skillet and the regular uh, sausage in the microwave. So the Beyond Meat, look at this cross section right there. It is cooked very well. The outer shell is, I think I overcooked it a little bit, but the outer shell is still good, but you can see the inside's not overcooked. It is quite, it is uh, warm, but let's see how it tastes. I actually like the outer shell slightly burnt on sausages. So this is actually pretty good. So let's see how this Beyond Meat tastes. No, I can crisp. This actually tastes like a real sausage. It's not, it, it is kind of lacking the, kind of the meat juiciness taste of a real sausage. Remember that this sausage costs three times as much as this one. So if Beyond Meat wants people to actually switch from real meat to fake meat, they actually need to actually bring the price down because this thing costing three times as much as this thing, just not very appetizing. Look at that cross section after I've taken a bite. Pretty good. It actually looks like real meat. Looking at the two, it doesn't quite have the chunky, like the meaty chunks that the actual sausage does, but it actually does taste a lot like a real sausage. It's honestly, it's a little bland. The Beyond Meat sausage is not as tasty, it's, a little, it's definitely less, less meaty, less oily, less bland than an actual sausage, which honestly makes it a little bit less flavorful than the real sausage. So from what I see so far, the Beyond Meat sausage <clears throat> just does not have the same kind of flavor as a meat sausage. It is pretty close. I'll, I'll give it this much. It's much better than other soy protein attempt to be meat products. But if you really um, if you really analyze the taste, you can still taste the difference between this and real meat. Now, if you like a lighter sausage, this might actually be for you. But part of the essence of a sausage it's really that meaty taste, and honestly, this is just a little too light for me. This is just a little too bland for me. Um, but if I didn't have any meat available, this would actually be passable. Like, in a, if I was eating like a hot dog, I mean, if I was eating a sausage, um, this in a hot dog bun, it could pass for a real sausage, but it's just not as flavorful. There's not those meat juices in the sausage, and it's plant-based protein, so it doesn't have that punch of a taste. Look at that cross section there. But it's not bad tasting, but it just doesn't have that like meat, charred meat um, goodness in the sausage. It's beyond meat sausage. And yes, you can tell just by looking at it. <coughs> take a look at that cross section. You can just tell by looking at it that it is soy based products. You can tell it's not really meat. Texture wise, I have to say, it looks a lot like meat, but once you eat it and you realize like when you get to the center of the sausage, there's just not that meaty burst that you get with real sausage. So it doesn't hit you like that. And um, for me, that's part of the essence of the sausage. So although it's not bad, um, it is less flavorful than an actual sausage to me. I can probably down a lot more of these Beyond Meat sausages than real meat sausages, um, mainly because 
I just don't have that meaty burst flavor. <clears throat> and to me, without it, it's not quite as filling. It is probably better for you, though. But let's now wash our palate with the water and go on to the real sausage. Spicy Italian sausage. You can tell, like, just texture-wise, this is very different from the Beyond Meat sausage. There's the chunks of mixed meat in there, and you can just tell. And by the smell, you can also tell what's Beyond Meat and what's actually meat, because the smell is distinctively different. So let's eat. Mmm. Mm. See, this, this sausage... It is a spicy Italian sausage, so it has a spicy taste, but even without it, you can get that kind of like meaty juice, meaty flavored taste within the sausage. And that just makes it more filling and more delicious to me when I taste it. And whereas I would have to eat a bunch of those Beyond Meat sausages to fill up, a few of these <coughs> could probably fill me up. And there's just that meaty grit in there that the Beyond sausage did not have. If I was looking for a light snack, after, if I was looking for a light afternoon snack, I might go for the Beyond Sausage. But if I actually wanted a meal with sausages, I would want the real sausage. It is still significantly different and significantly superior than the Beyond Meat Sausage. Also, like I said, the Beyond Meat Sausage is three times as expensive. Like six links cost $4.99, and I bought both of these at Whole Foods, so I bought it at the same place. They're both actually cheaper at Hy-Vee, which I found out afterwards, unfortunately. But... It's $4.99 for six links versus $9.99 for four links for the Beyond Meat. So the Beyond Meat is actually about three times as expensive. So right now, the best value for your money, got to go with the real sausage. It tastes better. It's more meaty. It's more filling. And it's one third of the price. So right now, I still, can call, I still cannot call it Beyond Meat. I still have to call it inferior meat because it's not meat. And it doesn't taste quite as good. And it's three times as much. And that makes it, um, and that for me makes it inferior meat, not beyond meat. Once they make something that's the same price and also just as tasty as meat, then they have the right to call it beyond meat. Because beyond signifies that it's better than actual meat. But that is not better than actual meat. It's still inferior to meat, both in taste and in cost. So beyond meat, not good right now. Still go with the real meat, real sausage. That is still inferior meat. So winner, real Italian sausage. All right, that is the um, my episode for today. Let me know if you agree or not. Thank you and have a nice day.